Every spring, I like to come up with a new artichoke recipe. This year's is really nice, and I'm gonna go over the whole technique of removing the choke from the artichoke and what you need to do and what you don't. So, here's an artichoke. I've already cut off the very bottom. If you can find artichokes with long bottoms, keep as much of them as you can. This one happened to have almost nothing to start with. Cut it in half. You wanna remove that little hairy thing. With a spoon, scrape that out. Don't bother with trimming the pointy ends, but take off the exterior few hardest leaves. It's a good sign if they're snapping off like that. And then take a paring knife and trim that. Trim the hard spots right there, that's it. Since we're gonna be sauteing them, browning them in butter, we'll start the butter too. Okay, that's one. Here's another. Just dig that spoon in right, right at the base of that hairy stuff, technically called the hairy stuff. The artichoke is a thistle. That's why it has that spiny stuff inside. That's why this stuff is prickly. If you eat that hairy stuff, which is sometimes called the choke, you'll regret it. it. Sticks in your throat. Maybe this is why they call it not, they don't call it art of swallow, they call it artichoke. Actually, I think it's a coincidence that it's called artichoke, and that, but that, that is called the choke. Okay, so we're gonna brown these on this face. When they're brown, we're gonna add some stock, cover them, and let them cook until they're tender, which really depends on size. These I'm guessing about 15, 20 minutes. So, Mmm. When you have a nice little crust on there, add about a cup of stock. Let's say add about two-thirds of a cup of stock. Cover that and walk away. Mm -hmm.